Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if it's your first time here. Today we're going to go ahead and talk about the Guardian Link transmitter. I don't know if you can see that, there you go. Uh, we're going to do an insertion today, so it's my first time inserting, and I wanted to take you guys step by step by my very first time. Um, I'm going to apologize if I'm a little slower trying to figure it out because it is my first time, so bear with me please. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so what I have is a one press inserter where I'm going to go ahead and insert the sensor. I input the sensor onto this part and attach it to my body and I also do have the tape and this is what's going to basically keep it um, adhered to my body. So. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna, I already cleaned my stomach because I ran out of wipes, so I just went with warm soap and water, wiped it down. I need to go buy some um, wipes, the alcohol wipes. I'm gonna go ahead and probably do that tomorrow. Um, but let's go ahead and open. So this is gonna go ahead and open up this. Here is the device. This is a needle. I'm going to go ahead and then put it in my insertion or inserter. Okay, so it's in the inserter. I'm going to go ahead. Make sure you hold the sides because this is what's going to release the needle and you don't want to hurt yourself. Go ahead and slowly take that off. And I don't know if you could see that needle right there, but that's what's going to insert. Um, I've heard a lot of people bleed, so I'm a little nervous because I have not had a bleeder yet with just my pump site, so we'll see. I'm going to try the first site on my stomach just so um, I can see how it goes. I was going to do my arm, but I'm like, um, let me start with my stomach just so I could like play with the tape properly. I'm not going to be restricted to one arm, so Ooh, okay, here we go. So I'm a little nervous. Go ahead, you can see my site. One, two, three. Okay, that came out a little bit, so I pushed it back in. Ow, that hurt. Okay, so you can see it is on my stomach right there. And I'm looking for the little tag part to go ahead, took it off the bottom. So now that is on there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, open up my tape. And I have two pieces here. I've seen people use two pieces, so I'm going to go ahead and duplicate the same. So I'm going to go ahead and remove number one and number two. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I have this part. I'm going to just put the thicker in towards the end of my sensor, which is right here. And then the little guy right in front of this piece right here. I hope you can see I'm a little short and I'm on a tripod. So, And then I'm going to go ahead and take off these other little flaps. And 
the other little piece. There we go. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and take the transmitter off the battery and I'm going to go ahead and insert. And let's see what this does. There is a green light that is beeping right now. So I'm going to say that green is good and ready to go. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is this little flappy piece. I'm going to go ahead and remove the stick and put it right over. So that stays right on. So, you know what I think I'm going to do? I was going to put two, but I'm going to try one and see how that adhesive works on it. And then, um, yeah, I'm just going to see how it works with one. If I play with it or if it hits something and I feel like I need to, I'll go ahead and do that. So, let's start the sinking process. I'm having technical difficulties here. So I have it on, but for some reason, I can't calibrate it. So let me figure out what I'm doing and I will be right back. Okay, so I was having technical difficulties. I completely skipped a whole step. I was supposed to go through the system user guide and sync it to my pump. I was a little excited, but we have now got it connected and um, now we have the sensor, we're going to go ahead and it's on. Go ahead and click on sensor connections. We're going to start new sensor. You're going to press, it says connect transmitter to new sensor, then select OK. It may take two minutes to find, so we're going to go ahead and press OK. Searching for a transmitter right now, as you can see right here, maybe it might be too small. Now it's just a waiting game. And it can take up to two minutes, so we're waiting. It looks like it's going to take about two minutes. Okay, it looks like this little thing is green and it is all connected. Okay, so now the next step is that it is warming up. Um, it's a little longer than I was expecting as far as the process of setting up the sensor. I figured it'd be like one, two, three, bam. But um, in the meantime, I am delivering a bolus. I just took my blood sugar. It's 159. Um, I've been doing a little snacking without the insulin, so shame on me. But I am giving myself insulin and then some because I'm going to get ready for dinner. And then I will finish this process. So, yeah. We just have to wait, I guess, until it's finished warming up so I could go ahead and calibrate and make sure that my blood sugar is matching what the sensor is saying. So, I'll be back in a few process. I have my uh, blood testing strip. I'm going to go ahead and prick my finger. I have eight, so I hope I gave enough insulin because it was a guess it's pizza, so I never really know. Okay. It's accepted. Not too bad. I still have about uh, one and a half units of insulin still. So it's sending to my pump now. Okay. Okay. Confirm blood sugar 165. Yes. And then I'm going to calibrate sensor. Is 
they put done. And now it's calibrating. So let's see how long this process takes. So it looks like this is going to take a while too. So I will check back in as soon as it's calibrated. And then we could talk um, what the numbers are looking like. So we'll wait for this. This is taking a lot longer than I expected. I figured maybe less than 30 minutes. It took my warming up process over an hour. And now the calibration, it's moving really slow. So maybe another hour. So we'll see. So I'll check back in as soon as it's done because I just want to stay on camera for the next hour, hour and a half. So I'll see you guys in a few.